lot of siblings. Uh, to count them all, I have 11, but biological siblings, I have four. Uh, we grew up in a, it was, it was a pretty crowded house. We spent a lot of time at the ball field because all of us played softball or baseball at one point in our lives. It was, it was like a, it was a big, huge community. We just brought people close together. When I was eight, um, one of my older brothers, Andrew, he passed away. That was the summer of 2014. Um, and that really divided our family, it took us away from Christ. Um, and we all grieved very differently. And so we, we felt alone in the world and we felt alone like God wasn't there because of like how bad it shook us. Um, I personally, I developed um, depression and I struggled with suicide there for a, for a hot minute. And it all came down to like anger. And I, I really took a lot of my anger out on God. I was bullied a lot in my school. When, when I was bullied, I, I became very lonely. I was very alone, very isolated from a lot of my friends. Um, and then I started to become a bully back because I felt like if they were doing it to me, I could do it to them. So I was very, very lonely from like the period of what, like third grade to like sixth grade. I wanted somebody to talk to, to help me. A really good friend of mine. This was one of my really lower spots. It was in the seventh grade. Um, she reached out to me and she invited me to come. Well, I came here, right? I was really excited because I don't, people don't really like to invite me to things because I'm, I'm a little extra. <laughs> So I can be a bit much to handle, but she invited me and I came and I was hanging around with her. And what was weird about it is that she invited me and we hung out for the first few minutes, but then on my own, I sort of just went through and like talked to a bunch of other people and they came up to me and I was having nice conversations. Um, then we got into this part of the, we got into the room to listen to um, the sermon. Worship has always been my favorite part, so I had like no problem with that. It was so awesome, but I think um, the actual message is when I started to have a little bit of an issue being here because I guess when I, when I lost God, I lost him for a lot of reasons, but um, coming back and listening to the preacher talk about how much he loved me, I couldn't really believe him when he said it. And so I, I kind of argued with him a little bit mentally in my head. It's kind of weird, but I did that. Uh, but I kept coming, which I'm really happy that I did. And so there was this one night um, when co after COVID hit and we couldn't go like to in-person uh, groups, where I'd found myself very distant again and back into like my recent like my starting. I could go either way. It was again. It was like a tipping point. I was just back to the beginning. Uh, that I found myself very vulnerable, and the enemy came for me in the form of a nightmare. And I didn't know what to do, but then it just hit me, you need to pray. As soon as I set the intent to pray, as soon as I put my hands together, before I could even form a full sentence in my head um, and ask for it, this calm just, this whoosh, just came over me. And it was just this overwhelming stillness where like all of that panic and all of that fear and I, I was trembling and it, and it just stopped as soon as I put my hands together. There's a notable difference in how like I've changed and most of it is being able to love other people with God's love. How is serving helps you feel like you belong? Here and serving makes me feel like I'm supposed to be here. These kids need somebody to pour into them and I feel like I can, I can do that and I can, and it, actually kids really helps me learn. I'm what? Two, two, three years of my journey into growing with God again, and these kids have helped me learn a lot, asking me questions, questions that I have to find the answers to. I don't know what God has in store for me. I don't know his plan for me. I haven't really sat down and had that talk with him yet. Like, what do you want from me? What do you need from me? But I'm excited to be used by him. And to, and to bring others here and to share, share his love. If this is how much he can do in what, a year? 
cannot wait to see what he's got in store for like the rest of my life.